Hey Crash fans, Licensed Gamer here, and welcome back to my Crash Twin Sanity walkthrough. In the last video, we defeated Dingle Dell, and now we're going to go back up to the surface and, uh, and, um, find, um, Nina. Cortex's, um, niece. Oh yeah, this is not only, um, my second take of doing this part of this game. I actually had to do three takes, because for one, I got an interruption, and my third take of this video is that, um... My game froze, and I died. And I died also when I tried to defeat those. When I tried to kill those rats. So yeah, that wasn't a fun time, that was it. And I glitched too. But anyway, uh, let's see if it did it again. Okay, it didn't do it that time. Yeah. Um. As I was starting trying to play, the, as I was, as I was, I was, as I was starting to play the game, my game froze. And I and it kind of ticked me off, and I had to, you know, start the boss fight over. So, uh, yeah. There's the save point I was trying to get to before my game freaking froze. But it doesn't matter anyway. We, we, we got here, so. And now we're at the Academy of Evil. So that's good. And I died. Already. Wow, that's, that's, that's not surprising at all. Sorry, it's just I'm very irritated considering I had to I had to re-record this part of my of this game three times. So yeah, as you can see I'm very, very irritated, but whatever, it's over with, so I'm now yeah, playing the game. For this part you have to avoid the kid that's you know using the flashlight and you can't be seen by him and you will, and if you do you'll get oh no you uh <clears throat> you'll um die instantly so yeah obviously as it as if it wasn't obvious enough but it's kind of similar from from where we had to avoid those trimeth folks at at the first level so it's funny how you didn't see me while I was walking up here to this locker but. Yeah, we had to blow up that kid though. That's kind of screwed up. All right, here we go. Up! Oh, look! 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 He's moving! Look! Look! Oh, okay, okay, we got it. Look, he was um while I was while I was trying to walk um while I was trying to um move Crash up to this locker, he was he was walking, but there was no it didn't show an animation of him running. Man, these glitches not these glitches are not only funny, but they're really bizarre. But yeah, um when I say this game has glitches, it has glitches. And it has a lot of it. I don't wanna spoil it though, because I wanna explain more of this game at the end of the walkthrough, so yeah. Screw you. And screw uh, screw you. Get that gym up here. There we go. Oh yeah, I like I like the music in this boss fight. That's a boss fight. Darn it! As I was saying, I actually like the music in this level, though. I actually like it. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep going. Um. Oh, he did it again! Look! What is up with the glitches in this game? Sheesh. I mean, they're not that annoying, because I rarely find any glitches in my copy of this game, but still. The glitches in this game are really annoying. Duck. I don't know if it has as many glitches in the Xbox version, but still. I can highly... No, nah, I can't doubt that. I can't doubt the Xbox version has no glitches at all. No, that's, no that can't be. Okay, this the part. Okay, this the level where it really annoys me. This is by far one of the most annoying parts of this level. Basically, you have to get up to the. You have to get up. You have to get to the top of the library while the acid is um, rising up to the top. And you have to be very careful too, because you know if you die and the acid, you know, gets to you before you do, uh, you will have to start this entire level from scratch. Not the entire level, but 
the whole checkpoint. The game will take you back to the first checkpoint you was at when you start this part of level, of this level. So yeah, if you die, you have to. You basically have to start from scratch. It's annoying, but whatever. I say whatever a lot, don't I? Screw the life. I don't. I don't care. I'm trying. I'm trying to. You know, not. I'm trying to save myself from not dying here, and you. And you're asking me to get more lives. How about screw you, game? I don't want to say screw you, game, because I like this game though. Still. Uh. All right. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! Ah, crap. Okay, I'm... I basically just skipped that part of the, um... Yeah, as you can tell, I basically, uh, you know, skipped that part of the, um... Of the platforming sections in this level, so that way I can save time. I almost died, though, but... No big deal, I made it, though, so... Without my Aku Aku mask. But I can manage. I'll get another one anyway. There we go, see? Careful, careful. There we go. My first take, I didn't even die. For some reason, I'm dying right now, but... Careful, careful. I can't even tell if I'm jumping on a platform or not because of the freaking... Uh... Uh... Of the camera. All right, we made it. All right, let's be careful this time. All right, oh, 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 there we go. We made it. Screw off. All right, we got the gem. I don't know why we have to ask for that, but okay, sure, why not? Alright, we made it. I only died two times in that level, not part of that level, so that's good, I guess. Huh. 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 Quiet out there, I'm trying to play the game. Jeez, so much noise is outside. Ha, ah, there's Cortex. I'll take it from here. Alrighty then. Get back to the airship. Make sure its mooring ropes are secure. Aha. Alright, as you can see, we get to play as Cortex for the first time. Exception of well, exception of when we have to fly on that on, on his ship. So yeah, I guess I explained the control. You press the square button, even though I explained it already the first time we had to get the control of him. You press the square button to shoot rapidly. You use the L2 button and the R2 button to strafe, kind of like Ratchet and Clank. And if you press X and Circle at the same time, you get to do a um a blast a blast jump, blast jump um a blast jump I guess, like that. And yeah, that's basically how you control Cortex. And yeah, his jump yeah his yeah Cortex's jump is much shorter than Crash's jump. He just a little, just a little. He just he just does a little um a short bunny hop, and that's basically it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to get more ammo so that way um I won't you know use the one I have left when I first got a control of him. And to be honest, I I'm in the mix between of Cortex's um, Cortex's um you know control not controls but his level his um level. I like his levels and I don't like it at the same time because for one his controls is a bit awkward. And you'll basically see why for right now. Let's first let's keep going. And now you're basically getting chased by ants for some reason. I don't see any connections or similarities to that, but okay, sure. A rat oh, a radical blast jump. Okay, yeah, that's what it's called. Okay. I didn't I I'm just looking at the screen down below just now. You know, you know, to really know what it is. So, so yeah. But yeah, not many people like Cortex's levels, though. Some some guys say he likes Cortex's levels, but to be honest, I'm more of a mix between both. I like his levels, and I kind of don't like his levels, but I'm, I'm in between of it. So, yeah. But I can understand why some people don't like his levels. It, some people say it's boring, some people say it's fun, some people say it's both. 
I'm in the mix between both of them. Personally, I don't think Cortex's gameplay is that bad, but I can see why some people don't like it. So, yeah. Uh, okay then. I try to get more ammo as I can that before I go. I'm sorry, I can't help it. The soundtrack is just too good. All right, checkpoint, we go. I'm gonna shoot the TNT. I said TNT. There we go. All right, jump on here. All right, extra lives. All right, let's shoot some other truckers. Yeah. Ah, you meddling kids. Oh wait, that's not. We're not. We're not playing Scooby Doo. We're not playing freaking Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights. <laughs> oh yeah, I never played a Scooby Doo game in my entire life. By the way. Uh, wrong button, but okay. Ow. All I know about that game because I've seen reviews for the game, so. And I know that game was also made by Heavy Iron Studios, the same people that did um, the Spongebob movie game and Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I never knew as I looked it up a couple of years ago. But Yeah, come on camera, turn around! Turn the effing camera around, thank you. Yeah, I gotta be child friendly, I, got, I gotta be cute friendly, cause I, no more swearing, but I can't promise that. I mean, even though I don't really swear that much in my walkthrough, but... I do try to limit. I try. I do try to limit my uh my profanity when I when I do swear. Personally, I don't really like swearing, but but hey, you're a teen. Hey, you're a teenager, and you pretty much got you pretty much go through that kind of shit. So yeah. Then again, every teenager kind of swears. Not all teenagers, but I'm sure a majority of teenagers swear before. So yeah. They even use words, they even use bad words, they wouldn't even consider a bad word, like heck or darn, or, or not, darn is not really a bad word, but most adults will say that heck, or heck is a bad word, but really it isn't. So, I don't know what I'm talking about. Even though it has no relevance of this walkthrough, but still. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's keep, let's shoot some mother truckers. Yeah! Uh. Let's shoot everything! And I missed the ammo box. That's that's cool. Let's shoot every single mother trucking thing. Careful. Careful. C A R L. Careful. Hope I spelled that right. There we go. Ah, we made it in my first try. Ah, I didn't think we'd do that. Ow. Back off, you creep. Back up. Uh, 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 uh. Ow, and I got hit last night, and I'm out of ammo. God, get away from me. God, help me. Ah, God! Darn it. Well, that wasn't cool. Oh, that was so uncool, dude. And I got hit again. That's nice. I would recommend you just shoot near that, um, that, uh, sewer thing that just keeps popping out infinitely. And I gotta shoot every single freaking frog that's in here. Is that, was that a school thing back then? I mean, I mean, then again, at my school, we, 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 we pretty much, well, last year at least, we pretty much, pre at science class, we pretty much just, you know, dissected frog, not dissected frog, we basically took a look at them and stuff, so, yeah, I guess they still do that. I'm sure at some schools they still do that, but, and I died again. And the door was open! You saw that? The door was open! 
Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, crap. There's no point in cutting it out. I mean, we're almost done. So. I'm gonna keep shooting at him. Come on, dude! Ugh. Oh, there's too many of them. Ah, I'm about to die again. Oh god, I'm gonna die again. I am gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna a guy die again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Shoot! Oh, I'm outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. God help! There we go. We got him open. I was about to die again. Holy crap! I didn't die. Or didn't die, but you know what I mean. All right, there you go. Oh, saw that? Huh? There we go. All right, there's a crystal up there, and I think there's Nina's room right there. It's soundly, Nina. You don't fear the night with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite. Under the covers, there's no need to hide. For your uncle's a monster, and he's on your side! Ah, oh, she's dead! Nina, oh, there she is. My adorable young niece. My nice frame rate. Big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. Oh. I see they need some adjustment. Oh, dear. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. Alright, so as you can see, we get to play as Nina for the first time in this game. Wow, it's changing things up a bit. Alright, uh, to be honest, I kind of like Nina's gameplay over Cortex's. Not to mention, her gameplay is a little different from Crash, even though she can still platform and stuff. Uh, even though she can still platform and stuff in this one, but I can't even speak. Uh, even though she can still platform like Crash, she also has some differences though. She can wall jump on th not wall jump, but she can um she can um use her she can use her robotic arms as a grappling hook to grab on those grappling hooks you can see right there. Uh-oh. And apparently apparently Crash got the bus. You know, now we gotta catch up to the bus, you know, when you know before we and I died. Yeah, great. I gotta cut ahead now. Yeah, for some reason, every time I try to jump down there, I die, apparently. I don't know why that keeps happening. I don't know if it does the same thing on the Xbox version, but it's really weird. Gee, this game can't be that glitchy that I have to keep dying so many times. But then again, like I said, this game was very rushed. You can pretty much why you die. There's so, there's, so, there's so many re there's, then again, this game was very rushed, so you can see why. Oh my lord! I didn't even do anything and I died! Yeah, this game has so much cheap deaths. All because this game is so buggy and glitchy. Oh wow, oh wow, that's great. But as I was saying, um... Yeah, uh, Nina's gameplay is a little similar to Crash's, even though she, even though she can still platform, but she can also grab onto things. Use her, like I said, she can use her robotic arms as a grappling hook. She can also use her um, robotic arms as a stretch like freaking Mr. Fantastic or something. But, but yeah, she can do that too. And just like um, just like Cortex is game, just like Tor Cor just like for Cortex, you can only play as her once. Besides the final boss, and I spoiled it, but whatever. But I assume that anyone who's, who knows who plays this game before should already know what they are. So. So if there's any new so if there's any new viewers that's watching this game or watching me play this game, it doesn't know what this game is. Sorry. And yeah, um, Cort uh, yeah, Nina doesn't talk in this game. Not not until the sequels. Well, not until the later Crash games, at least. And that's including uh, Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant. 
not many people like those games apparently because most people most people claim that it ruined their childhood or most people say uh it, um, it basically ruined the crash name or something like that well to be perfectly honest i even though personally i like crash of the titans i do agree that minor Mutant is mediocre Mostly because the game has a lot of backtracking and it's very, 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 very similar to um, uh, Crash, um, uh, Crash of the Titans in terms of you know, well, in terms of gameplay at least. Uh, oh, hold up, guys, let me be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's try again. Let's try again. I keep saying try again a lot. What in the world is wrong with me? Um. Uh. But yeah, but yeah, um, even though I do like Crash and Titans for what they are, I do like the game for what it is, well, at least for Crash and Titans, but I will have to say, they do, they did get overboard with the, with the character designs, though. They do way overboard with the character designs, and they also changed their characters' personalities, quite similar to, uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. Another Crash game that I've, that I've also played, but I haven't played it in years, but I didn't remember seeing the commercials for that game, and I remember playing at somebody's house back in 2008 or so. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I don't really remember liking it, though, but I did remember playing the platforming sections, but I never really got a chance to play the racing the racing parts, though. And another game that nobody liked, and not many people liked that game, though. I know some people that like the game, but not really, not many people like the game, though. And I kind of understand why. Whatever. But I'm going to keep going. Again, I died. I'm, I'm not even paying attention. I'm just talking out crap, and I'm not even paying attention where I'm going. I'm going to screw this. You better put that away. You better put that lightsaber away. Gee. I, can't even make up, I can't even make up a Star Wars reference right now. Screw off. Alright, get that gym right here, I guess. Uh, ah, I can't get it over. Oh, oh that, whatever, I can. Never mind, I can get that. Oh, God, careful. Ah, I got blown up. What a moron. You know, I'm just gonna skip to these enemies. I'm not gonna bother fighting them. Burn, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help. I like the soundtrack in this game. <laughs> To be honest, this is by far one of the most badass songs in this game. I like the, I like the song in this game. The song the song in this the song in this level is really really good. More like a top five material. Um. There we go. Oh God. Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, I got that all over. Cutting ahead time. Okay, guys, I'm back. And skipping through enemies again, because there's no point in fighting them, right? Checkpoint time. Back off, dude. Look out, Robo Dudes. Okay, this is the most annoying part of this level. Dun, dun, dun. I really love Nina's walking animations. It's so, it's so, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so cartoony. It's so happy. Well, then again, she is a little girl, like, after all. And I died, apparently. That's nice. Great. That's nice. Okay, then, uh, like I said before, this is the most annoying part of this level. And you'll see why in a minute. Wow. 
Watch out. Look, get out the way. All right, there we go. No, I'm not gonna screw around. I'm just gonna jump them. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, like I said, don't jump either because you know you'll you know it will slow you down and you will have to catch. It will catch up. It will pretty much catch up to you in in a minute's notice. God, look out! Good God, look out! Jesus Christ! Jesus F D H Christ! There it is. There we go. We made it. Wow! Jeez, I was about to die again. You see that? Uh, there we go. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna bother getting the gems. Screw the gems. I don't even care about them. I'm trying to run for my life here, and you were, and I'm worrying about some stupid gems. What the what? You saw that? I didn't even, huh? I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. There's Cortex up there. Hey, Dad. That was a terrible <laughs> impression. All right, let's shoot some other truckers. There we go. All right, there we go. There's Madam Amberly. All right. All right, in the next video, we're going to start fighting Madam Amberly. See you guys then. This is Licensed Gamer signing off.